Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to discuss a sexually transmitted disease, gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is highly contagious bacterial disease. Contagious means that it is spread through contact. Usually it is spread through sexual contact. It is a bacterial disease which is contagious and spread through sexual contact. It is characterized by urinary and reproductive tract infections. Bacteria infect the urinary tract and reproductive tract of both male and female. The incidence is common in both male and female. It is caused by a bacteria Nizeria gonorrhea as its biological name so I have to underline it. Nizeria gonorrhea is a gram negative bacteria. It is diplococci. Diplococci means that two cocos bacteria are joined together to form a diplococci and this is non motile bacteria. Incubation period of the disease ranges from 2 to 14 days. Incubation period means that a time period which lapses between the entry of the organism into the body and onset of the disease or appearance of the clinical sign of the disease. So the time period in which the bacteria enters the body through urinary or reproductive tract or oral tract and the onset of disease and appearance of clinical signs of the disease it is called incubation period. So it is 2 to 14 days. Special intercourse has been done with the infected partner. Then after 2 to 14 days the signs of the disease may appear. Gonorrhea primarily infects the mucous membrane. When the Nizeria gonorrhea bacteria invade the mucous membrane of urinary tract or reproductive tract or oral cavity, it infects the mucous membrane and replicates in the mucous membrane. And the bacteria cause inflammation, itching, swelling and painful condition along with the pus formation in the mucous membrane. And the local lymph nodes are also swollen called lymph adenitis. In males, gonorrhea causes urethritis. Urethritis is the inflammation of urinary tract. It is accompanied with the painful urination, burning sensation and pus formation and oozing of the pus from the tip of the penis. The testicles are also painful and swollen causing architis. In case of females, there is abdominal pain, vaginal discharge or the pus is discharged from the vagina. There is abnormal uterine bleeding or bleeding after intercourse and urethritis is also seen in females in which pus is released or oozed from the urethra. Painful urination as well. Abdominal pain in the female is associated due to pelvic inflammatory disease because Nizeria gonorrhea causes pelvic inflammatory disease in females PID which we will discuss in the complications. Gonorrhea can be transmitted both horizontally as well as vertically. Horizontal means transmission of the disease from one person to other. While vertical transmission means infection which transmitted from parents to the offspring. This is called vertical transmission. Horizontally the gonorrhea can be transmitted through sexual contact either oral, vaginal or anal sexual intercourse. The disease can be transmitted from the infected partner. Vertically the disease is transmitted from the parents especially mother to the offspring through embryonic development and the newborn baby may be blind. Born baby may be blind. So it, it causes ophthalmic complications. Eyes are infected. The disease can be diagnosed conventionally through gram staining because gram staining is the basic tool for differentiation of gram positive and gram negative bacteria and Nizeria gonorrhea as we have stated that it is gram negative bacteria. So gram staining will reveal the appearance of gram negative bacteria in the slide under microscope and the bacteria will appear as pink diplococci. And for confirmation of the disease, the PCR is a best tool polymerase chain reaction which confirms that the underlying bacteria as well as the strain of the bacteria is confirmed. So PCR is recommended for further diagnosis on molecular level. If the disease is left untreated, it may cause complications. The most important and common complication of the disease is pelvic inflammatory disease are called PID. Pelvic inflammatory disease, it is seen in women. It may be defined as the inflammation in the upper reproductive tract of female. When the upper reproductive tract of the female has been inflamed or infected, it is called pelvic inflammatory disease because these organs are lying in the pelvic area of the female. These organs are ovaries, oviducts 
and uterus. So, in simple words, if the ovaries, oviduct, and uterus of the female is infected by Neisseria gonorrhea bacteria as a complication of the gonorrhea disease, this is called pelvic inflammatory disease. It, it causes abdominal discomfort, abdominal pain, and it also causes infertility and sterility. Sterility is the temporary loss of production of fertile ova, uh, and the sterility if the fertility is lost permanently and completely and the female is no more to be able to produce the offspring and children so it's called sterile so gonorrhea can cause infertility as well as sterility due to the pelvic inflammatory disease in females moreover the nazaria gonorrhea bacteria also infect throat eyes giants and tractum in throat it causes sore throat in eyes as we have seen that it causes ophthalmic complications Pus is discharged from the eyes and sometimes it may lead to the blindness. Giants, it causes septic arthritis. The giants are inflamed with pus accumulation. It's called septic arthritis. The rectum is inflamed, it's painful and pus is discharged from the rectum. So these are the complications of Miseria gonorrhea. If disease is left untreated or the disease or the bacteria is resistant and goes to the complication stages. So it affects throat, eyes, giants, rectum and especially in females, it causes pelvic inflammatory disease. Treatment as it's a bacterial disease, so antibiotics are recommended and the most commonly used antibiotic is ceftriaxone injection. It is given intravenous at the rate of 1 gram per day. If you are going for oral antibiotics, then tablet azithromycin at the rate of 1 gram per day is recommended. In most of the books, the tetracycline and penicillin are used as drug of choice, but it's worthy to mention here that these drugs are no longer recommended. The bacteria got resistant against these antibiotics, penicillin and tetracycline, so Penicillin and tetracycline are no longer recommended and, and these antibiotics don't work. So this was all about the Nizeria gonorrhea.